Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going over Duplicati and backing it up to your Synology NAS. All right, so let's get started. All right guys, so what you wanna do is log into your Synology NAS, go to Packer Center, and we're gonna install the web dev server. So we're gonna have Duplicati uh, connect to our Synology using web dev. And right here is a web dev server. I have it installed. Just click the install button to get it going. We'll click open. I had enabled HTTPS and left the port default. You guys can use whichever port you want. Um, they're both fine. I use this for more security. And I left everything else default. So I left this no speed limit, then hit apply and close out. So the next thing we want to do is open up control panel. And we're going to set up a new user. Create. We're going to name this one test. And we're going to give it a password. Okay, and then next, we'll leave that under the user group. We're not gonna give many permissions to uh, these folders here. And we're gonna click next on this. We're not gonna give him any limit. And now we, what we wanna do is give him web dev access. So we click allow, next, uh, leave that default, and then apply. So now this user's created and they have web dev access for the application. So from here, let's go to shared folder. We're gonna create a new folder. We're gonna call this one test. And we're going to disable the, um, the recycle bin. We don't wanna turn that on. We'll click next. I'm not gonna encrypt the folder. You guys can if you wanted to. Click next and we're gonna apply. Okay, and from here, it's gonna ask you for your users under the permissions tab here. So we're gonna give test a read and a write access and then just click okay. All right, and then from here, we're gonna to go to uh, Duplicati and make sure we have this installed. Uh, go to duplicati.com forward slash download. There are a bunch of um, um, operating systems here you can download it for. I have Windows, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install that. Click next, accept, and we're just gonna go all the way through this. Install, gonna pop up and um, ask you, and you're gonna click yes. Go ahead and launch Duplicati now. You can check, you can keep that checked and launch it. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna type in the address here. It's localhost colon um, 8200. And then you can enter, and we're in Duplicati. So now to add the backup or add the source, we click add, we're gonna configure a new one. We're gonna go to name. We will name this one backup. The passphrase, you can make it whatever you want. I'm gonna leave it as, um, as whatever it generates for me. And we'll click next. And now here is the section you wanna edit. So storage type, we're gonna click the dropdown and click web dev. Because I'm using HTTPS, uh, we're gonna use the SSL right there. I'm gonna type in the server um, IP address, which is right here. You guys can type in your external IP address if you guys have it set up to the outside. Uh, just remember to port forward, uh, whichever one, 5005 or 5006 to get that working. Um, and then you should be able to access it from the outside without an issue. All right, so we're gonna do port 5006. The path in the server is just test. We're gonna go ahead and put in the username of test and then our password. So now if you're using SSL, make sure you click the advanced options down here. Pick this option right here at the very top, accept any server certificate. So because our Synology generates its own certificate, um, we need Duplicati to be able to accept that certificate from the Synology. We click on that, and then let's go ahead and test. And there we go, connection worked. We'll click OK, scroll back down and click Next. All right, so then we just click our source data. I'm gonna do my desktop. You can do uh, filters and exclude, but we'll click Next. And then you can um, edit this in any way that you want. I'm not really home at 1 p.m., 
So I could just leave it at 1 p.m. Uh, run it once a day is fine with me. We'll click next. And now here's the upload volume size. If you have large um, files, uh, let's say you have a movie that's 10 gigs, or if you have VMs that are 50 to 100, 300 gigs, you may want to increase the size. There are different benefits to having larger sizes. But let's uh, move on to the backup retention here. So you can do keep all backups, but I usually like to click keep these smart backup retention. You can go through each one of these and, and view the details on it. But uh, the smart backup retention essentially purges them and keeps the, the best one as of the year. So it starts to keep it up to, I believe, once a month. So it'll keep the, the last seven days, each of the last four weeks, and then uh, one for each of the 12 months. And then from here, we'll click save. Yes, I've stored my passphrase, and we'll click run. Completing my backup, I don't have much on my desktop. Yep, so I had 27 megabytes on my desktop. It was just a bunch of um, icons. So we can go to restore, backup right here, and we can just see that all my stuff is here. And that's it. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and uh, have a great day.